Welcome Sagittarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 13th of December through to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. So Sagittarius, whatever question it is that you have with regards to the person that you're connecting with, your channeled message was letting me know that the truth is reflecting right within you, okay? The truth is in, is within, okay? And it's really reflecting, it's shining. It's shining so bright um, that you guys may be questioning it. Uh, know that this connection is blessed. I would say that you as an individual Sagittarius is that I'm picking up, you are equally blessed as well i feel that you're being guided um this connection i feel is um almost what well, I, I i was getting something to do with growth so i i don't know whether or not through this connection you're gonna grow with your intuition or grow with your spiritual gifts because uh, the divinity within you, your higher self is really reflecting a lot of truths to you, okay? And it feels as if they are encouraging you to uh, connect, to connect with your higher self, to connect with your spirit team, connect with divine spirit universe, because it it sounds really strange, Sagittarius, um, but it feels like you don't need tarot readers. It, 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 it's like you know, you you just know. Um, and I feel that that knowing, that deep knowing that you have within you is something that I feel that your spirit team are triggering through this connection that you're in uh, for you to grow, to harness and grow and embrace. Um, and that may um, require some um, adapting, adapting of your thoughts, adapting maybe even, um, you know, how you see things, um, adapting even maybe even your lifestyle maybe you need to be uh more in connection with um uh, mother earth so you know those long walks with nature or um swimming in the sea if you're fortunate enough to be uh close to the sea it's like they're guiding you that you need to adapt your lifestyle to connect to connect with mother earth so you can connect with your higher self connect with your inner child um many of you are I feel that um, there's a, a lot of innocence, okay? Um, a lot of innocence on the journey that you're about to embark. And I feel that that is uh, to do honestly with your spiritual gifts, okay? Uh, whoever you are connecting with, yeah, this connection is definitely blessed. There is victory, there is abundance, there's prosperity. Um, this person, um, you are their wish fulfillment. There's no doubt about it. And they do see you as their twin flame, their ult ultimate soulmate. They do want to give equally to this connection, okay? Um, but there's something that's gone array. Either um, you walked away or you're about to walk away. And this person almost kind of wants to bring peace about that or they want to reconcile. First card has come out. Um, and I feel that um, some sort of conversation, I feel that they do want to have. Um, taking like action to initiate bringing peace if you've got to walk away or you've walked away um because i feel that they're quite upset quite sad about that try not to overthink it okay um and they want to take action to kind of come uh, come around have some sort of um uh resolution that is that that serves both of you that's in both of your best interests okay whoever you're connecting with that they're, they're a, i would say that they're quite a good good cookie okay um sagittarius this person is really putting you and your feelings um you know i wouldn't say above their own um but they they have a lot of respect for you they they see that you have created quite a a good environment for yourself they see that you work you're a hard worker they see you as extremely attractive and wise they may even see um a very spiritual element within you that you may not have uh, really cottoned on for yourself um and and that is something why i feel that this person has been brought into your life 
to help you grow and to harness your spirituality, okay? Uh, and your spiritual gifts. So your first card that's come out, wow. <laughs> Fertility. So uh, many of you Sagittarius, um, something is being birthed with this person. Whoever you are connecting with, something's being birthed. If um, Sagittarius women, if you um, are wanting children, okay, uh, this week is a good time to get jiggy jiggy with it, okay. Uh, there's fertility coming in, okay. Um, if you don't want to have children at this point in, in your life, then I would say take some caution, all right. But the key thing here, something really beautiful is being birthed, and it could be a child, and it could just be a birth of this connection, something being resolved, something um, coming to an understanding of either you walking away or about to walk away second message is oh animals do you know something animals keep coming up quite a lot actually um uh, there may be um if you have pets or you are animal lovers um uh, look out for your uh, pets um, around you uh, notice their behaviors and their patterns towards you because I feel as you connect um, with your higher self and your inner child and really kind of take a look at your spiritual gifts and talents um, you will get some sort of sign from your pets around you um, that you're on the right path it, it's like they've been um like you have your pets is like how can i put this let me articulate this in the correct way it's almost as if your pets that you have around you are guides um and it's like their purpose has always been um to be in your life for when you awaken to your spiritual gifts okay if you don't have pets um around you um the the other side of the message is is that you may um uh, relate to certain spiritual um animal totems so if you start seeing like dogs or cats or birds or tadpoles are telling me tadpoles oh, i don't know um frogs or something um i don't know if if you um if you uh, resonate with those animal totems and you start seeing them, uh, that's letting you know that your spiritual uh, gifts, okay, are ready to be birthed because you're awakening to them. Um, uh, if none of that uh, resonates with you, uh, then uh, look out for um, animals around you. Maybe your person has pets or animals. Uh, look at their behaviours. Um, and patterns towards you when you go visit your person, all right? Um, uh, 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 they'll be different around you. And it's because that you are awakening your spiritual gifts. Um, if that doesn't resonate, then look out for um, the, the, the stray cat or the stray dog or something or a flock of birds or a tadpole or a or, or, or frog. I don't know why they're giving me that um, around you that might just pop up just out of nowhere. I mean, I'm in the UK, so I don't know where a tadpole or a frog is going to um, pop up. But for those of you in the UK that live out outside um, London, you know, more in the sticks, um, well, that it could be a real reality for you, particularly if you're near a ravine or a small um uh, a lake or something that could be a, a real possibility but if you start seeing animals that are just around you uh like looking at you watching you hovering around your ankles um or or just just you just you you catch this animal looking at you um it's uh, it's your guides basically it's your guides um because i really feel that many of you are birthing you're awakening to your spiritual gifts I really am picking that really strongly, okay? Um, for many of you, this is a birth of uh, the connection that you're in as well. There's something really, really beautiful, um, Sagittarius, is that, that's being birthed. For, for, for many of you, it could be your spiritual gifts and this relationship, or it could, be a com it could be a combination of the two, or it could be one or the other, okay? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you... Uh, tell me our crowning message to thank you okay well we've got a bonus card of new beginnings um so 
whatever it is you're embarking on that is about to uh, be birthed is definitely going to be a new beginning. Uh, Sagittarius women, if you are either with child or um, uh, you want children, this could be the beginning of um, that desire being birthed. Oh my God. Didn't I say that the, the truth is within you? And look at what's come out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, Sagittarius, I'm not being funny, okay? I must be speaking some sort of truth uh, because whatever that truth is within you that is being birthed, it is reflecting back at you like so strongly. Um, you guys, I feel, are really going through an awakening of your spiritual gifts. That is what I'm picking up. Um, and many of you, with regards to whoever you're connecting with, like I said, this person is a good cookie. This connection is blessed. And the truth you already know the truth so if you've got that question is this person the one uh, the truth is staring right at you and you are about to birth a new beginning enter a new path a new chapter very exciting uh, Sagittarius let's have a look at your crowning wisdom message my angels and spirit guides of the divine Oh, thank you. And then we have got, yeah, look at that. It's time for a nap. So I feel that uh, whatever is, uh, <laughs> your, I remember I was saying about animal totems. If you've got animals, if all of a sudden they start napping on you, just know that they are protecting you, okay? They are restoring you. They're preparing the way spiritually for you to be awake, awoken to your spiritual gifts. Um, generally, I would say that many of you are being guided to, to rest, yeah? Rest, connect with Mother Earth. Like I say, there may be a change in lifestyle. Maybe do some more walking with nature. Go swimming in the sea if you're fortunate enough to be with the sea. The key thing is that you're being guided to rest so that you can, your spiritual gifts can be awoken. Rest so that you can see the truth that is being mirrored within you. Rest so that your higher self can communicate to you directly because you guys have got that ability. Like I said, I don't feel that the Sagittarius is that I'm picking up for. You don't really need tarot readers it almost feels as if you could do this yourself yeah um so it's time to take a nap it's time to uh, allow uh, your spirit team whether it's animal totems your pets your spirit guides to come in and help you on this new journey that is being birthed and it's going to take you to a new beginning a new chapter and of course it brings nothing but happiness absolute happiness this is you uh co-creating with divine spirit universe your higher self uh you and your person bringing a lot of happiness to one another really beautiful and i and you know what? i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mince my words um i felt that this was a beautiful reading from the moment that i started um with my uh prayers and meditation for this uh reading and look, yeah. So you remember I said to you that uh, your person, I'm not sure what's gone on, whether you've walked away or you're about to walk away um, or something, um, but they're going to offer that olive branch and there's that olive branch. They want to bring peace. It's like... Um, it feels as if you're going on a journey, but you're not breaking up with this person, if this makes sense. And I feel that they are heartbroken about it, but they don't, they want to come to a peaceful resolution. And I feel that whatever it is that's going to be discussed this week um, is going to bring peace. It's going to bring peace and happiness to you. All right. Um, and that's definitely that action that I saw that they wanted to take to um, to bring peace, to to have a harmonious resolution, either you walking away, them walking away or somebody on the verge of walking away. But something new is definitely being birthed and it's triggering a new beginning that is bringing nothing but happiness to you, Sagittarius. Okay, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Sagittariuses. And also it enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and donations. It's really appreciated. And I really hope that you all receive 
receive um, a useful and meaningful message from this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 13th of December through to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Sagittarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me, thank you. Sagittarius, any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle for your uh, weekly uh, reading, if they come out on camera, I will call them out for you. Oh, so first of all, okay, so whoever you are connecting with, with the uh, Seven of Cups here, I feel as if they are choosing you, um, and that is the truth, I feel that is right in your, um, right within your core, okay? OK, um, your your soul, your spirit, your higher self is reflecting to you. The truth is that this person is choosing you. OK, but there is some sort of confusion, some sort of misunderstanding. I feel that this person either is feeling a little bit stabbed in the back of a new beginning that you may be venturing onto or they are confused. They may be confused. Um uh, maybe regretful if there's been a bit of silent treatment because you're going off in another direction. Something new is being birthed in your life. Uh, but I feel that this person is also a little bit scared of this connection. OK, um, like they don't want to be stabbed in the back by you. All right. Um, the magician coming in, both of you are manifesting and I feel both of you are manifesting answers, a peaceful resolution, manifesting your happiness, manifesting the truth. And uh, it doesn't, um, it, 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 it explains why the first thing that I said, Sagittarius, when I started your reading, what question is it that you have about your person? Because the truth is within you. All right. So many of you are wishing, hoping, praying for answers. And I feel that you're being guided, Sagittarius, that you have the answers already in you. Whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if they are manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying for a peaceful resolution that will bring happiness, that will bring a new beginning. And this is where something really beautiful, I feel, is being birthed. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you um, tell me how does these soulmates of Sagittarius, thank you, yeah, I'm uh, Sagittarius, that what did I tell you with the high priestess? I am not even mucking around with you. Uh, you guys are very intuitive. I would say that you're beyond. You have got spiritual gifts within you that you have not woken up to. All right. Rest, rejuvenate, because I feel that that um, inner knowing, um, that connection that you have with divine spirit universe um that connection that you've got to spiritual gifts hasn't been woken yet you guys are um very intuitive it almost feels as if you have got access to ancient and sacred knowledge beyond your comprehension and you may need to grow and adapt and harness that it's part of your journey and it almost feels as if whoever you're connecting with they may see a glimpse of that. And I feel that they're going to encourage you. They're going to, um, I feel they're going to do something or say something that's going to trigger that awakening. And that almost feels as if what their purpose is. But yeah, you guys are very intuitive. Oh my God, you want a new beginning. Yeah, you want a new beginning. You want your happiness. Uh, full card, new beginning, new beginning. Something is definitely being birthed. Whatever it is you're wishing, praying for, uh, Sagittarius is coming. It is coming and it's bringing peace and it's bringing this new beginning that you want. Let's uh, clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does these soulmates of, thank you, uh, oh, wow. OK, so this person um, is being very, very clear this week uh, that they are choosing you and they want to build a future with you with the 10 of uh, coins here. All right. There may be some misunderstanding, miscommunication, because I feel that they don't want to come across 
uh, they don't want they don't want to get hurt basically and i feel that there's an element of fear all right they don't want to get stabbed in the back um they want to clear up if they haven't made it clear to you that they're choosing you i feel that they're going to make that quite clear this week uh yeah this person has definitely um done some reflection all right definitely gone within um trying to figure out how they can clear up any misunderstanding miscommunication and tell you the truth of how they feel and that is that they do want to build a future with you this person is choosing you okay and i feel that they are being illuminated to look at that future with you to look at that new beginning to birth something new to bring happiness to bring peace and it's because they want to make wise choices so if you are going on some sort of journey that is taking you away from this person because like I said I picked up in your channeled message that either you are walking away or they're walking away but it doesn't feel like it's a breakup it's like you're going somewhere um, that might put the two of you in separation but it's not a breakup I feel that this person is being guided they want to make wise choices maybe whatever it is you're doing they know that it's going to bring a lot of prosperity for you something that's going to maybe to do with work um, that's going to birth a lot of money um, and they they don't want to hinder that they don't want to put a downer on that but also that they are scared that you know they're, they're scared they don't want to be stabbed in the back they don't want anybody to you know um they don't want any competition wherever it is you're going and so therefore they want to make wise choices when it comes to you you also could be dealing with a virgo or you could have virgo in your chart let's continue oh that's really interesting because animals came up in virgo and also scorpio came up in virgo so if you're connecting with a scorpio or a virgo i would suggest checking out those videos you might get some extra messages in there sagittarius Okay, so let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Did something flip, flip over? No? Okay, let's continue. Oh, look, they just showed me the four of wands. Long-term commitment, marriage material. I would say both of you are manifesting that with each other. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does the soulmates of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? week commencing monday the 13th of december through to sunday the 19th oh thank you okay well let's do this one here first right so this person definitely wants to come to you um for a new beginning a new beginning speaking their truth of how they feel okay uh they definitely uh, are coming towards you um i feel that this queen of wands is your energy they want to come towards you um they see you as somebody that is very independent very attractive very spiritual okay but also very free spirited you don't need anybody to think for you you have your own opinions okay very free spirited very action orientated they want to come towards you and speak their truth that they don't want to be hurt okay if they go on this new beginning with you um birthing a relationship it feels like a relationship that's existing but not like <laughs> uh, Sagittarius it's almost like I know this is going to sound a bit tongue-in-cheek but it's like you both haven't said to each other okay you're my boyfriend and you're my girlfriend that kind of thing I know it sounds really innocent and very childlike but it's like you both haven't confirmed that you're exclusive to one another i feel that that's what they're scared about and that is the new beginning they want to birth something they want to bring about some sort of peace and then speak their truth that they want want to build a future with you whoever this person is they're coming in with that knight of pentacles energy they're coming towards you with a solid offer and i feel that you will reciprocate you will give with that page of cups um if you are walking away or thinking about walking away or you might apologize for it okay but i feel that the key thing here is that you're meeting this person halfway you're giving them a green light a small token that you do love them that you do want to be with them um and there we go with the three of cups here you want to be around this person i would look the four cups you're thinking about this person uh quite a lot wishing hoping dreaming manifesting this person um, and i feel that you want to be around them you want to celebrate this connection um and intuitively, I feel that you know the truth 
deep down is that you actually have got a lot of love for them let's continue yeah and it's because look at that with the uh six of cups um you are uh your your soul recognizes this person you've lived many many lives with this person if you have already walked away okay sagittarius or it could be them that's walked away uh, i feel that you're missing them or you're anticipating that you're going to miss them all you want to do is be around them and celebrate this connection wow so you do see them as your twin flame you see them as the two of cups. You want this new beginning with them because you see them as your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate. You want to give to this connection, all right? But you are unsure. With the Knight of Wands, you're just unsure if they feel the same way towards you. Yes, they do, all right? If that is the question, and so therefore you're conflicted. You're conflicted with that Five of Wands to take action, but notice the Five of Wands and that one wand is the Six of Wands. You're going to come out victorious, and seven of wands, you're going to fight for this connection because there's something that this person is going to let you know that's going to um, reveal the truth that is all that you already know within you, that this is a very deep soul connection. You've lived many lives with this person with the six of um, cups here and with the two of cups, uh, you want to give, you want equal give and take of this relationship, but you're unsure if they're on the same page as you. They are. I feel that they're just scared if you're if you've walked away or you're about to walk away, which is not, not not walking away from each other, maybe going on a trip or something, um, it feels as if they don't want to get hurt. They don't want to be stabbed in the back. They don't want anybody to snap you up wherever it is you're going. And so I feel by this conversation that's going to happen, them speaking some sort of truth towards you is triggering that new beginning is um, birthing something that is really going to make you happy and bring peace to the connection, okay? Um, you also could be dealing with, dealing with a Leo. Leo's popping up here. Uh, Leo's popping up there. Virgo's popping up here. Yeah, that that's... The only major arcana is is Virgo, to be honest. So either you or your person may have Virgo in your chart and there might be a little element of um, uh, Leo in there as well. All right, let's have a look and see what your advice is. The first card is self-care, tend to your garden. Absolutely. I feel that this, um, to be honest with you, in context of your reading, this is about you tending, I feel, towards your spiritual gifts, your intuition. Um, there's something about the Sagittarius' energies that I'm picking up this week um, that you're very, very, very gifted when it comes to um, foresight it come to spiritual gifts you may be like um, a, a psychic or a medium or a clairvoyant or but you can connect you can connect with um, uh, 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 other spirit you can connect with the spiritual realm um, and it feels as if you're being guided to, to, to wake up to that to harness that um, if this is resonating um, definitely uh, take some time out connecting with mother earth um, swimming in the sea connect with um, uh, the elements of the earth because I feel that it's really important that you stay in the light okay uh, Sagittarius if you're into uh, fasting and praying or um, into meditation okay this is the time to be doing it okay resting allowing uh, your spirit team to guide you um, many of you with uh, spirit um, animal totems or animals they are here to help you illuminate that new beginning to step in but I don't know why I'm picking up you're being guided to stay in the light OK, so tend to your garden. Don't let this um, feeling of that intuition, that gut feeling, whatever it is that um, uh, you resonate that message with about spiritual gifts. Um, I feel that you're uh, you're on the verge of um, uh, birthing that, waking up to those gifts. OK, so apply a bit of self-care. Tend to yourself. Yeah, as well as this connection. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me our advice messages for our Sagittarius, I mean, thank you. And then we have got 
twilight yeah surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flowers so i feel that there is something that's going to be illuminated to you this week and it could be at the latter part of uh the week either the conversation is going to be had be had it might be next week that you're planning to go on some sort of business trip or some sort of trip or something or maybe even a holiday because the two of you haven't locked down whether you're exclusive to one another um i feel like in the 11th hour this person is going to speak to you about how they really feel and then we've got hidden depths you only see the surface look beyond um, that hidden depth, I feel, is towards the hidden truth that is within you about how this person feels about you. OK, if you're unsure, this person does have a lot of love for you. Look at the amount of cups are here. Cups of love. OK, uh, but there's been a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication because they may not have expressed that to you because they're worried that... Uh, you know, they're going to get stabbed in the back. They're fearful. They're operating from a place of fear. Um, but they do feel the intensity of this connection. Also, the hidden depths are your spiritual gifts that I was saying. Um, many of you, you, it may be on the surface. So, for example, you know, um, if your person or a, a member of your family uh, is just about to call you or, or um, send you a message like you think about them and then lo and behold, they call you or the message appears. Something as simple as that on the surface, you may not pay a lot of attention to it. You might just think, oh, that's oh, yeah, I, I just thought of you and you just called. There's more to it than that. OK, you've got some spiritual gifts that I feel that are ready to be birthed. All right. OK, I'm going to leave that there for you, Sagittarius. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.